Hello everybody! In this video we present to you the way how we came to our findings and the tool which helped us to explore. This knowledge generation model explains quite nicely the workflow steps and cycles we were going through. We started with some background knowledge about the data. After looking at the raw data and doing some basic pre-processing we created some visualizations to gain an overview and first insights into the data. This way we came to more knowledge and more sophisticated hypothesis. Or we simply found out that we had to do some more preprocessing to build up models that fit our actual needs. Exemplarily we show a nine workflow of how we worked with broken GPS data, handled misleading, missing or conflicting data through transformations, aggregations, data reduction, joins and groupings we created new derived data for further exploration. For example, for us it was more important to see the places where people stopped than the roads they took. This also significantly reduces the massive load of GPS data and enabled us to do new visualizations with less effort. Here you could see the evolution of new created layers visualized in QGIS. To facilitate the exploration of the data space we developed our own exploration tool. We were guided by the visual information seeking mantra. This line chart gives an overview over the car movements. We see differences between working days and weekends. On working days there are three main peaks on weekends only two smaller ones. With logarithmic scaling we are able to see the late night movements more clearly. So let's have a look where people move and who are those people. Clicking on gas tech highlights as we see in the table Lucas Alcazar. This means that he is the guy in the selected time range. Let's dig deeper. Where does he come from? We add the GPS data and choose a time range to display the last two hours. OK. He came from his home. Now, what else do we know about Lucas? What about the other IT technicians? Maybe they regularly have to come to Gastech late and take turns. We will look at them all. Let's choose a step size and an interval size to jump from day to day keeping the time range. Lucas Alcazar is coming again. And again. And again. But nobody else. In my opinion, that is suspicious. Let's keep that in mind. The tool offers some further visualizations that help to inspire the exploration process. To overview the relationships, there is a distance matrix and a table with groups of people that meet often. To get an insight into the spending habits of a person, you can have a look at a box plot. A heat map and a tech cloud derived from the credit card data help to find frequented locations. We hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.